to the third annual Golden Noggers, a celebration of all things OSW from the past 12 months. The fan voted ceremony where we hot dog and grandstand for about 30 minutes. First things first, let's talk about the rules! <laughs> okay, so if you are nominated one year, you cannot be nominated the next year. Mm-hmm. Uh, so oh, people nominated in the first year. They could be they back, are in, uh, back in. They're back in. They're back in. Rubbish Ronnie. I was just about to say, Rubbish Ronnie finally yeah. gonna get us due. But Steve, Ronnie Garvin hasn't done anything this year. Like He doesn't need to do anything. <laughs> but if he doesn't win, he's out for next year. But he's not nominated, so it's fine. Oh, grand, grand, sorted that. Okay, rule number two. Only videos created during two, 2015 plus the Let's Watch episodes are eligible. I.e. X7's story arc, Mania, SummerSlam, TakeOver Brooklyn with Matthew, and HH? Oh, Hardcore Homecoming. Ah! <laughs> hardcore Homecoming! <laughs> me, 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 And King of the Death match as well, uh, as well as Samurai Cup. Hooray! Last year, thanks to PoleDaddy.com, we had a huge jump in voting, from hand-counted 1,200 the first year to almost 39,000 in year two. Wow. Mm. That's actually pretty fucking amazing. Uh, and in year three, we've topped it with over 60,000 votes. 60,405, to be exact. Uh, in ten categories, so that's over 6,000 each. Well done. Do the maths there. Well out. done. Very good. <laughs> Ooh, that... Intro music was the editor's cover of Acceptable in the 80s. So big shout out to Chris Urbanovich for le- letting us use his song. Yeah. Uh, and without any further ado, let's get the Golden Nuggers underway. Did, did the editors record that specifically for us? Absolutely. You can't prove otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. My sister thinks you're great. I, and I think you're... <laughs> <laughs> Our inaugural Golden Nogger. Ho ho! Favorite intro. So we originally just had Acceptable in the 80s. Then when we started doing the 1990s shows, we switched over to video game parodies. But a lot of people said they missed the Calvin Harris intro. So time dependent, we actually put in both. Mm -hmm. So first year's winner was the Botchamania style uh, intro from SummerSlam 92. That ends with like, rubbish, runny, garbage. (laughs) And last year's winner was OSW and you, Partners in Freedom. How could that Mm. not win? Mm. All right, so the way we'll do this is how about I'll run through all the nominees and then you tell us who's your favourite and then who's you think will win. Oh. So, favourite intro, WrestleMania X7 story arc. That's the one with Kenny and Harley Wotton's Limp Biscuit, acceptable in the 80s. ICW On Demand, which is the Fire Pro Wrestling one. WWE Flintstones. It's one with WWE in the Flintstones. <laughs> um, Better Call Paul, which is WrestleMania 31. From No Way Out, we got Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, which I actually made like six months before that, but I just never used it. So it's like, ha, there you go. Uh, On Final Nitro, we had Devastation Corpse intro, filmed by Matthew. It was really nice. He went to a Shikara show. Blaster McMassive is a fan of the show, and so they did an intro. And he's like, "Eh." well, you're not winning, mate. (laughs) (laughs) Ooh, also from Final Nitro, there was a Final Nitro version of the X7 Arc intro, so that was with all, like, WCW stuff. Ooh, then Revenge of Shinobi from Samurai Cop. Rick and Morty for 100 years on NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, which I loved. Terminator 2 from SummerSlam 2015. Ooh, the fan intro montage from WrestleMania X7. That's where we got everyone to do... You know, slicey splicey of the intro. There we go. Hello and welcome. Tits. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> the X7 comic book intro by Peter Nguyen. 
uh, which was amazing. She, she spent months doing that for us. I was, oh, holy mm. shit. Looks amazing. Yep. And actually, this one was made by uh, Squared Circle Tees. This is uh, our Father Ted intro for Hardcore Homecoming. Oh, it wasn't done by you. Because mm. that's a really good one. Excellent. Which one's your favourite? And who do you think will win? I'd probably have to go for the X7 because it was just like, you can see the hard work. <laughs> you know, it was like absolutely amazing. Like my favourite is Father Ted. I think the winner could be X7. The fan one, I loved. But yeah, probably the X7 is going to win. Comic book or regular? The regular, the music one. Okay. Interesting. I would say the comic book intro and the fan intro, well, from X7. Just, I love both of them. They're really cool. I actually recently watched the entire uh like was it hour and 40 minutes of all the fan intros that was awesome that was really really like holy shit people put a lot of work into it especially the gary stridham guy uh he he needs to get a shout out that was fucking amazing well done mate what did he say steve gary stridham wow Because uh, I put, when I saw it, it was like that Gary Stratton, that bit's going in last. And he said when he watched it, he was like, oh, I didn't get picked. And there's like, Gary Stratton. <laughs> <laughs> you were the main event. Well fucking done, mate. Uh-huh. So number four, losing out on a podium spot by under 50 votes. I'll give you number four if it's close, you know, um, is Father Ted at Hardcore Homecoming with 12%. Number three, fan intro montage at X7, 12.8%. Number two, the X7 comic book intro by Peter Nguyen with 18%. And number one coming up at the top is WrestleMania X7 story arc from the Royal Rumble and with 34.48%. So that's so between the two, like the X7 story, that's 52%. Holy shit. Okay, award number two, Roydy Magoo. Who was the roidiest? <laughs> the first year winner was Scott Steiner, who after sitting out year two is now re-eligible. Our second year's winner is Test, with almost half the votes from December to his member. Now that was a pity vote, Jay. And no, not at all, Steve. <laughs> the boy wonder. All right, so we got Kane from the Royal Rumble. It's pretty jacked. Chris Benoit, also from the Royal Rumble. He was always jacked. <laughs> always jacked. Stevie Richards from No Way Out, who was just... Because he's always been really thin. And yeah, really, really... Then he ripped off his shirt and went, whoa. Uh, the Rock from 2001... The Rock from 2015. <laughs> He's a Roydy Magoo. <laughs> Dribble Leach from 2001. Dribble Leach from 2015. <laughs> Ray Mysterio Opal from the Flintstones. There's like the... They, they left in. There you go. Apollo Crews from NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. He was big on the indies and he got a lot bigger this year. Six Pack Barrett from SummerSlam 2015. Yeah, he was fucking shredded this year, like really shredded. Yo, not sh- not like bulky big, mm. but just like doing the fat burners, mm. <laughs> like the John Morrison body from like 2006 to 2007, which was scary as well. Del Rio's got it now. As oh well. my God. Whew, they don't test in Mexico, I can mm. tell you that much. But he wasn't in any episodes this year, otherwise he'd be on the list. Eddie Guerrero from X7. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the big one Scott Steiner from Final Nitro <sighs> holy shit this is a fucking tough one uh, I'm thinking Eddie these pictures of his shoulders and upper arms and how frighteningly massive they are those two enormous veins that are like two fucking two inch bits of cable going down his arms yeah so I think I'd go for Eddie and I think the winner is going to be Benoit. I think this category is unfair every second year because if Steiner is in it, he'll win it. So I think it should be Steiner and I think it will be Steiner. Interesting. I do agree. It'll be like he is an unfair build. Although Ray Mysterio Opal when he flexes is actually fair <laughs> to say. But uh, yeah, Rock 2015. Jeez, like he was always a big dude, but when he came back to face Cena and stuff, he's just ridiculous. Yeah. All right, so number three, The Rock in 2015 with 10%. Number two, Rey Mysterio. Wow. 16.78%. And the winner, Scott Steiner. 
with over 50%. <laughs> you see, what's the point? <sighs> yeah. Oh, yeah, so congratulations to our first ever two-time Golden Nogger Award winner, <laughs> there Scott he goes. Steiner. Do you have him on the phone, James? <laughs> uh, testing room, second door on the left. Eh? First ever two-time yeah. Slammy Award winner. Uh, Slammy? Oh. 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 <laughs> and I really thought that that honour would have gone to Beefer. But didn't a lot of our beefer episodes come before we had a Golden Nuggers? Before mm. he was eligible for That's a Golden Nugger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why Garvin isn't in. Yeah. If yeah, he yeah. was in, like, if we started in in 2012 or something, definitely in. Favourite segment? Not just a quote, but what is your favourite kind of bit of OSW? This was only added last year, with our boys from Capital Carnage nabbing it with a quarter of the votes. Um, so if you don't hear your favourite bit here, it might be in another category. Okay, we've got the Kane Frizz updates from Royal Rumble, <laughs> which I thought was, was quite good. Um, the Flintstones retrospective, which I like. It's like the one good thing about that show. I don't know. That was a good... That was, that was fine. Yeah. yeah? The XFL retrospective from No Way Out, which uh, actually someone asked us, um, what do we think of like the NFL and stuff like that? And it's like... And I only, I only, I don't know anything about American football. How about them dolphins? That's about all I know. Uh, uh, <laughs> There's a team <laughs> called the Dolphins. Need a lot of <laughs> I watched a movie last night called Draft Day with Kevin Costner. Quite interesting, actually. Just about you know, like leaving doors open and you know playing checkers. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a draft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's give it a watch. Give it a watch. Uh, China's book reviews. A couple of our fans gave in China book reviews. Foley book reviews. Oh, which is also good. <laughs> <laughs> and the fan artwork montage of Summer Class Raw, which I was pretty cool. That yeah. was like our fiftieth mm-hmm. episode special. Oh, in that's it, right. In episode yeah. fifty-two. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's not sex scene in Samurai Cop. Mm-hmm. Go like the clappers. Oh, the WCW Desire video by Trimoon. That was really good. That oh, was amazing. It was excellent. <laughs> I wish they played it at the show. It would be amazing. Regal and Jericho psychology from X. <laughs> <laughs> the RTC Parents Television Council retrospective. That was at X7 as well. Well, all of these are uh, from X7. A lot of X7. Top five nonsense lyrics from X7. Mm. Uh, gimmick battle royal entrances from X7, which was kind of nice. It was like being back in the 80s for a few minutes. Like. Mm. The Limp Biscuit retrospective from X7, which is great. And so instead of doing the recapping Rock and Austin's feud, I just, no, Limp Biscuit, <laughs> <laughs> uh, which like no one gave out to me for. Because I had 12 Limp Biscuit songs in, in that show. But people, it's a, it's a bit of a time capsule, I'd say. And they all relate to the match. Like, uh, Steve's TLC. having none of this. No? It's like the gimmick battle royal is my generation. TLC. That's actually clever. TLC 2. It's like, here we go again. You know, anyway. They this is good stuff. He actually Steve. put, he put this effort is into like, this and you're just sandbagging it. No, no, no. I'm sandbagging Limp Biscuit. I'm not sandbagging yeah. Jay's clever booking of song titles. That's actually, I didn't notice that. And then seeing... 2005 Cronus at Hardcore Homecoming. <laughs> Roll uh, like Roll. A I love that. See, if anyone knows that, um, we were talking about how Brian and Vinny have t shirts, but they're always like, here's some text on a shirt. So we were thinking about nice designs or something. It's like, why don't you do like a Donkey Kong That's cover right. parody for Granny with Roll Out the Barrels, you know? Yep. And then I was like, well, fuck them, let's do it for us. <laughs> you know? I was like, Steve, work in something with barrels in the show. That's right, yeah. yeah. That was planned. That, like, that line wasn't planned, but Jay just asked me to get in barrels <laughs> to the show somehow. That worked so well. Yeah. Very sneaky. sneaky. I like it, Steve. Okay, um, so who do you, which one do you think you'll win? Which one is your boy? Man, whew, I think my boy there would have to be marking out to uh, Regal. Because <laughs> he is my boy. But uh, I don't think I'd actually vote that to win. I thought the Kane for his levels throughout the Rumble was genius. Absolutely love it. Thank you. Uh, so that would be my vote. 
I think Jay's hoping that the Kane for his levels wins because I think that's close to your heart. You've always really liked that. Okay. I did put in, well, no, I didn't put in more work, but Blank did. (laughs) (laughs) I can't. Dan. Dan. Dan's a great man. Dan. Uh, So I loved the fan art montage and the Samurai Cop That's Not Sex. (laughs) But I think a lot of love for the XFL segment. I think that's going to win. Interesting, very interesting. Because I didn't think, like I didn't think it was funny. I d- that's why I wouldn't vote for it. It was like it's a very good segment, very well made. Uh, lots of info there, but I didn't mark out to it. So well, there was champions big. <laughs> 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 oh, with oh, by oh, I think that and in second place will be the uh, nonsense lyrics because suck a or got a lame dick. Nonsense, uh, yeah. lame dick, and don't piss on the seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> both very yeah. over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd actually go for nonsense lyrics to win. My favorite would be the Samurai Cop. Well, number five, seeing Cronus, two thousand five yeah. Cronus, which was devastating. Steve, your heart it just you can you can pinpoint the part where it rips. It. <laughs> 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 Number four, WCW Desire by Trimin. Actually should have won, actually. I'm really happy that that got in, because it was, like, fucking excellently done. Brilliant. Number three, Kane Frizz updates. Get in there. Number two, top five nonsense lyrics, which was great. And number one, the XFL retrospective. Wow. So I got top two correct. Good oh, man. Excellent. Good man. Fix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people seem to love the XFL. I, I enjoyed it as well, but it's... I'd say people just were like, yeah, what the hell was happening there? They they need a refresher on it because fact is stranger than fiction, you know? Do you also think part of it is we've lots of like uh, American fans and it's probably blatantly obvious that we know fuck all yeah. about American football as like, well. Oh my God, you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and some of these awards, I've actually opened it up just in case people want to put in their nominations of stuff I forgot to put in. Ooh. So with those awards, I'll, I'll just say what was nominated. V1 giving it about Maniac Cop, no selling a neck snap. <laughs> yeah, Samurai Cop. Maybe. Yes, yeah, Samurai yeah. Cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised that wasn't in there. Aha, uh-huh, because it's in the best quote. Spoilers. Spoilers. Oh, was another one from V1 is your uh, WrestleMania X7 Motorhead, the game. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Which is in a different category yeah, as well. Yeah. Oh my god, this is like, this is my favourite award. Favourite song cover? <sighs> this was a difficult choice. Like, did I really thought it was a great idea that you put up the video with like a snippety snip of all of them. Definitely. Clever idea. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it it's, might be difficult to remember which ones are which, but it's like, I want to hear them as well. I was like, I was just going to put it up in audio, but if I do slightly more work, I can put it out as a video. So I was like, there, there you go. Uh, yeah, another award just brought out in the last year with ORON, Mastril, narrowly beating out Edge's Yeah, Yeah, over five. These are nominations for favourite song cover. China. Don't treat me like a man. Don't treat me like a man. Don't treat me like a China. No way, treat me like a man. The RTC. I think I heard Nig. <laughs> oh, the APA. Me, 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 the one Billy Gunn. <sighs> meh. <laughs> meh. Meh. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> meh. <laughs> Steve, get rowdy. Two real G's and we about to get rowdy. Oh, you didn't know you better call somebody. Step into the dust of the Misty Force. No damn doubt a better cake quick, quick and, and road, road dog. dog. Getting rowdy. Try to move something. Me and Road Dog with a drastic change. Check yourself and realize we're all that. And different different with you. Perfect. Better every time. <laughs> oh, Matthew with Russia and Rusevstein. 
I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, pity nomination. No Way Out 2001, they had the Machine Head rip-off song. So shameless. Yeah. Raven's theme. <laughs> that's that's your one. No, it was your mates, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop my car, 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 car. Oh man, this is the big one. Beep, beep, beep. Look at you for a second, you prick. Beep. Stone Cold Steve Austin as Gears of War. Me 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 there you go, there you go. Oh, uh, I did suicide scene. It was a suicide on your mind. Running head, chicken fry. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, bit of uh, Sepultura with Roots, Bloody Roots. Oh my god. Roots, Bloody Roots. <laughs> <laughs> Raw 2003. I got my guess. I think you look around and you're doing it. <laughs> uh, the final Nitro song. It was like. <laughs> it was just like white noise, right? <laughs> Cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, ooh, the Nickelback Raw song. <laughs> oh, biker, tiger. <sighs> Dead man walking. Mooney, mooney. Burner, burner. Love it. Oh. Power of the Punch song. Regal's heel theme. Is it a. <laughs> That's the one where I got like one note in before I lost it. <laughs> Don't even know that's even remotely close. That was closer. good. No, that was good. <laughs> there goes my first cough. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely dying. <laughs> Why do we have to do the longest show? <laughs> Steve, you're going to have to do the q and A's, I think. <laughs> All right. uh, a real man's man. He's a man. Such a man. Such a man. <laughs> <laughs> it's an amazing song. It's a tour de force. It is, it is. Dilo Brown's Danger at the Door. You're looking at the real deal now. 316 for real. <laughs> Piss on the sea. <laughs> test. This is a test song. I like this one. Which is hoo hoo when the coke takes. Hoo hoo when the coke. Jericho's first theme song, of course. Boo doom, boo doom, boo doom. You got a lame dick, dick, dick. <laughs> <laughs> Ruined. Thorn in your eye. Uh, the ro- Attitude Hour Raw song. There was there like a the WCW Invasion theme song, which is walking away, walking away, walking away. Seriously, it's it's the siren plus walking away. Oh my god! Motorheads of the game from X Seven. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game. And when he plays it, Triple H plays the game. He is the game. When he plays it, and then he knows it, that you hate it. And in a game. 
Rest in peace, Lemmy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One close to my heart, and hopefully close to yours, Steve. Hogan, Schmogan, Krogan, Logan, Hogan, Schmogan, Krogan, Logan. Next to Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> so, next to nothing like breaking Benjamin. Yes. Overseas yes. ringtone. On there. Yes. Very happy. Uh, final entry here. I want it that way for the Invasion <sighs> podcast. Okay. Yeah. You are my fire. Your one desire. Believe when I say I want it that way. (laughs) (laughs) There's so many. That's a tough fucking uh, category there to vote on. For me, it's Hogan, Schwogan, Krogan, Logan, obviously. I want it that way would be a close second. But there's so many great ones. What's going to win is it's Taz. I think Steve's The Game is going to be top three. And and uh, Got a Lame Dick is the other top three. Wow. wow. That was, it's quite the you, analysis you there. You put some thought into this, didn't you? Um, okay, my winner is Taz. I, I think that... It's tired. It's tired. I think it's between China, Taz, and Motorhead. And I think it's going to go to The Game. Interesting. Yeah, the game and Taz is between those to win it. My favourite, though, is Get Rowdy. Yes, apologies. That would be my other favourite. Alrighty. You, That's just you, because the both of you get to go rah, 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 <laughs> at the end every time. <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> Number three. I want it that way. Get wow, it. I really didn't think I was going to... Excellent. Delighted with that. For an invasion podcast. Nice. Told you they'd love it. And if you fucking don't, it's seven point nine two percent. Number two, Motorhead's the game. Oh, Taz won, did he? With fourteen point five one percent, and the winner. Beep 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 beep. <laughs> 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 Where's tires? <laughs> Fuck, this is what it's like being Steve. Awesome. Yeah. Where did uh, Got a Late Dick? Ooh, well, it was up there. It was up there, yeah. but just not not on the top three. I'm so happy about I Wanted That Way because uh, I do like the song. Anyway. Yeah, we, we heard Steve. <laughs> you, were, you were like very serious about yeah. doing it again. There was no comma there. <laughs> Um, I was devastated. I actually left out a few songs. Oh, there's mm-hmm. one that I definitely noticed when I was going through the list, and that's uh, he does this, he does that, he's as quick as a cat, and he hits you with a bat. <laughs> amazing, it's amazing. Yeah, man called Sting. Oh, devastated, left that out. Also, um, other nominations are the SmackDown Hooven Toot song. <sighs> Hooven, 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 Get the hold of, hold it down. Get the hold of, hold it down. That's very rapey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt, God. Well, WWE have gotten a bit rapey with their merchandise, like uh, John Cena, You Can't Stop Me, <laughs> or uh, Rowan Reigns, I Can and I Will, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, Ice Train from Hardcore Homecoming. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's like ha ha People put in the X Factor song, but we haven't sung that though, have we? I'm sure we have. But we haven't done it like proper ju- like it doesn't count until their song is on the show that we're doing. And I don't think we've done a show where they have Uncle Cracker yet. I we? don't know. I don't think Sepultura showed up either. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he committed Sepultura. That's true. <laughs> or like Candice Michelle with a... <laughs> oh, add on. Still, still, I think as an ensemble, it's her best. All right, so congratulations, Orange Tires. Your first golden nugget. All right, next up is our favorite OSW episode. So first year's winner was Royal Rumble 1992. Okay, I had Jameson, I think, the Bushwhackers. Oh, 
And obviously, Ric Flair's amazing performance. And last year's winner, no prizes. It was WCW Halloween Havoc 95, which is probably like one of our best episodes. It's still my favorite. But Heatwave 98 was last year, was it? Yeah, it was, yeah. That was a better episode. Technically. It's like saying Dean Malenko, better wrestler than, I don't know, Chris Jericho. Yeah. But no one wants to watch Dean Malenko, except Steve. Uh, actually, he would be one of my boys if, if I rethought. Actually, I do have a boy to add. I think he's the best seller in the WWE today. He makes moves look great. Heath Slater. He's one of my Heath boys. Heath Slater is great, I have to say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's very, he's, he okay. might be king of the boys. He may be king boy, yeah. He takes all the boxes, Steve. Yeah. If Heath Slater is your boy, leave a comment below. All right, so favorite episode, Royal Rumble 2001, WWE The Flintstones. That is no one's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> hey, little did we know it would be better than some of the episodes <laughs> that would follow. We haven't hit the, the trough yet. Like, you know. <laughs> WrestleMania 31 with Matthew. I think that's our best show with Matthew. Um, no Way Out 2001, Final Nitro, Samurai Cop, Simulcast Raw, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, uh, SummerSlam 2015, WrestleMania X7, Let's Watch Hardcore Homecoming. A winner is that. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> Let's Watch IWA King of the Death Match. <laughs> Leather jocks. <laughs> I actually marked out to that. All right, so who? What, what's our best episode and which you think will win? Right. Our best episode of this year was Samurai Cop. Uh, I got five people on that, but I don't think it's going to win because it's not a wrestling show. Uh, I think it's going to be X7. Uh, I agree with <laughs> all of that. <laughs> because it sets a precedent that if people vote for a movie review, they're worried it will do more movie reviews. Or, like, sw- stop doing wrestling reviews. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. we'll never stop doing wrestling. But, no. Yeah. Um, I agree wholeheartedly. Like, Samurai Cop is a, t- it's a milestone in the OSW. I would three of us have the exact same. How uh, about X7? X7 is going to win, yeah. Do you, Maybe a bit of love for yeah. the Royal Rumble 2001. The, everyone loves the Rumble for some reason. In general. I, th- I think we do good Rumble reviews. Yeah. Uh, and Jay over. loves editing them, editing them as oh, well. Oh, yeah. It's like the easiest job. <laughs> <laughs> 30 opponents in one match. Yeah. <laughs> Number three, Royal Rumble 2001, 14%. Number two, Samurai Cop. Ah, you all got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> With 18%. And the winner, the Golden Nug Award for the favorite OSW episode, WrestleMania X7, 40.7%. Where? It is a great episode. Uh, you know, it is a great episode. Ah, and the Wooden Spoon Award, what was our least favourite OSW episode? Obviously King of the Death Match. I'm going to say Hardcore Tone Coming, I think, <laughs> because we were so, like, we just spent the entire show giving out the poor Freaky Deaky, like, I can't believe he picked this big arsehole. No, but, but. Is hardcore Homecoming had that. I should have taken the money. That's very That's true. true. That's yeah. very true. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, the winner is Let's Watch IWA. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I felt The Room was a better review than Samurai Cop. Well, we shall see. Spoilers, Steve. Well, you, it's not live, Jay. It's not live. <laughs> <laughs> Aha, that's halfway through. Right. So who is, that was a big one, Cunt of the Year. First year's winner, Hulk Hogan. Ah, Cunt Hogan. Killing it with 65% of the vote. 65% <laughs> Clint Hogan. And last year's winner, Cunt JBL. Uh, and also uh, nominees Cena and New Jack are eligible. All right. So we got Drew Carey for saying, oh, I don't watch wrestling. <laughs> oh, thanks no. for the Hall of Fame induction. <laughs> <laughs> now put my show over. <laughs> Some accurate cunt. Hitting Austin with a can after the three stages of hell match. Some accurate cunt. <laughs> was this when he was lying on the ground? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, was good, yeah. Stephanie McMahon for taking credit for the Divas Revolution. Oh, there's more than just that. <laughs> but, you know, her year of burying every baby face and not letting anyone get over ever. And if they do get over, she gets her heat back on Raw the next night. It's infuriating. 
Oh, she buried Seth Rollins as well. Maybe yeah. made sure, like, even if Triple H isn't there, he's subordinate <clears throat> to him. Um, Samurai Cop Nurse asking Joe to fuck her, but sandbagging and insulting him right afterwards. <laughs> saying he had a small dick. And that. Oh, that's right. She's the one who doesn't know how dicks work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The AOL Time Warner merger, killing WCW and also losing $206 billion. And last but not least, we got China, shameless neck injury storyline and obliterating no-selling ivory at X7. Like for me, it can only be one, and that's Stephanie. For me, uh, WCW, or sorry, AOL Time Warner merger. Yeah, so I'll go with Stephanie McMahon and a run-up to some accurate cunt. Jesus Christ. Like, yeah. your man's wrestled a 40-minute amazing match. Great match. You throw a fucking can at him. <laughs> and he hits him in the head with it. It was amazing. <laughs> what accuracy. But, you know, that's not what we're talking about today. <laughs> so, results-wise, number four, AOL Time Warner, 14.5%. Number three, Drew Carey, who doesn't watch wrestling, 15.5%. Number two, some accurate cunt. Nice. 19.5%. And number one, the cunt of the year, Stephanie McMahon. <laughs> Welcome to the family, Stephanie. <laughs> Welcome. I think your husband will be in there soon. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how her voice has gotten a lot lower recently? It's, it has, yeah. Like, Stephanie McMahon. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit gremlin y, you know. <laughs> Stephanie McMahon. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> Ooh, we have a lot of nominations here. I'll just run through them. Well, Cunt Hogan could be in there, but you know, hasn't done anything this year. Couldn't Jubilee? I think it would have been wasted. He didn't do anything that bad. Yeah, let's hold off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cunt Austin for getting his heat back just after losing the three stages of Hell Match. Yeah. Cunt Fred Flintstone for multiple counts of country. Mm. Cunt Foley for walking in front of the camera like a fucking Sasquatch for Shane's Coast to Coast. Yep, yep. <laughs> Cunt Michael Cole for asking stupid questions. Are you ready <laughs> to enter hell? <laughs> Cunt X-Pac for the... <laughs> <laughs> like, that might catapult him into lifetime achievements. That's know? like... Cult boy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cunt J... Crash is your boy, stop denying. <laughs> yes, agreed. Cunt OC for telling everyone V1 had nipple piercings. It's <laughs> true. Oh my god. And Cunt V1 for not giving out more cans of Coke for good bars. I think this is someone from our Comic Con. I gave away 24 can no, 23, because I had one myself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, congratulations, Stephanie McMahon. Woo, <laughs> <laughs> dancing Jesus! Dee, 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 dee. If there's a better use for the internet, I haven't found it. If you've committed a crime and you want to confess, click yes. Otherwise, click no. You have chosen no, meaning you've committed a crime but don't want to confess. A paddy wagon is now speeding to your home. Hey! While you wait, why not buy a police cap or t-shirt? You have the right to remain fabulous. Next up, what bear of the year? (laughs) Bear. (laughs) First year's winner, 60% voted Virgil as a Nogger. It could only have been Virgil. And last year's winner, Zodiac, as a barcode. All right, here we go. Van Halen is Jericho. Ballisto Bars as Edge and Christian. An Alibi as Jerry Lawler. <laughs> Old Bananas as Jerry Lawler. And Golden Gay Time as Jerry Lawler. Shrimp Flavoured Crack as Liger. A Can of Pussy as Big E. Tropicula Bar as John Cena. Vegetarian Swallow Balls as Callisto. (laughs) A Bar of Plop as Sin Cara. Pork Faggots as the Bushwhackers. And an Everlasting Gobstopper as Doink. Nice. For me personally, Edge and Christian, Ballisto Bars is perfect. 
but I think the winner is going to be Jerry Lawler, be it the Alibi or Bananas. I would say the Alibi because of the connotations of that I liked. I think the winner is going to be Doink Bra. Oh. Hmm. I would go for a vegetarian swallow balls, which because <laughs> why was amazing, <laughs> and an alibi for Jerry Lawler. Which I think it's very clever. Ah, number four, we have a golden gay time as Jerry Lawler, ten point eight one percent. Number three, pork faggots as the bushwhackers, thirteen point nine five percent. Number two, old bananas as Jerry Lawler, fifteen point seven eight percent. And number one. A can of pussy as big oh, Wow. Yeah, left field. I would never have guessed that. Yeah. 15.84%. Yeah, well done, Biggie. Look at that. Yeah. Biggie, you are a golden <laughs> nogger winning wrestler. Congratulations, my I friend. I never thought I'd see the yeah. day. Yeah. With his rooty tooty booty. <laughs> Shame on Chris Jericho for that shite. Even if that was written for him and he's given that script, he should be just like. No, you don't get to tell me to do this fucking shit. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I agree. Like, does any wrestler on the current roster who's not injured, you know, like Cena and Taker, basically, surely he's like number three after the two of those. Yeah, but Cena also did my favourite. was with Laurinaitis. Love it. Love it. But, like, Cena's also the biggest yes man ever when it comes to... He, like, he just does what he's told. He likes doing that stuff. He, he's yeah. generally, genuinely a corny guy. Yeah. He loves that humour. Because he gets to write mostly his own stuff. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's Awful. it. Nikki probably gets that, you know. When, he, when she comes home. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, Nikki, I want to try this joke on you. How about this for Raw? No, no, no. <laughs> Where, where's the remote? Luda! <laughs> 15 time world champion. And then Nikki's like, I've never been more attracted to you than I am now, John. Ooh, we have some nominations. We have Seth Rollins as that fucking dress. Oh, yes. That's really clever. And Chris Jericho as a spicy hot can of cocaine. <laughs> So this is the first time ever a new fan-suggested award. The State of Your Hair Mate Award. <laughs> Very good. I did ask around what awards would they like to see. Uh, best Boy was up there, but I feel it's quite similar to Lifetime Achievement. Like, if you're the upper echelons of boy, you get nominated there, you know? Yeah. yeah. But well, we'll the see. Whole championship run as well, I think, and separate the men from the boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Very good. Clever booking there. <laughs> so who had the worst hair of 2015 OSW episodes? Kane Frizz. Raw oh, Rumble. God, getting off to a good start right there. Sting's Egg Nest. WrestleMania 31. He ended up look, looking like Nicolas Cage by the end of it. Frosted Tips. Michael Cole. Ric Flair's Calvin and Hobbes haircut. You know, the Bart Simpson. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Spiky hair is you're almost 50, you know. Uh-huh. So is Benjamin Netanyahu. Ray Ray's Devil Horns from Final Nitro. Oh, stay with oh, yeah. them. Yeah. Mick Foley's Poodle, Simon Castro. Just Incredibles, Bald plus Tuft of Hair. <laughs> X7. His rat's tail. It's, it's like someone put a sticker on his head or something. <laughs> Ooh, Samurai Cop wig. Oh, oh sorry, Kane. Move over, boy. <laughs> and Leatherface, IWA King of the Deathmatch. With a big fuzzy fake hair. I think it's between Kane and Samurai Cop. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, my heart says Samurai <laughs> Cop. But your balls. <laughs> <laughs> the head says Kane. I 100% agree. Yes, me too. So let's see what happens. Number four, Sting's Egg Nest, WrestleMania 31. Number three, Kane Frizz, Royal Rumble, 17.64%. Number two, Bye Bye Bye, Frosted Tips, Michael Cole. Are you ready to enter jail? (laughs) (laughs) 18.77%. And number one, the State of Your Hair Mate Award goes to Samurai Copley. (laughs) I'm so happy you'd won something. Oh, my God. 
Yeah. 28.85%. Over a thousand votes for that one. Holy shit, that wig should just be like in the <laughs> like the OSW Hall of Fame when we finally open it. But like, <laughs> we're, we're actually going to get up the money. We'll, we'll, like, we'll do some kind of Patreon thing and we'll have that wig. Ooh, we got a couple of uh, nominations. Wow, some, a strong turnout for Wigberg and Goldberg in a wig. Wow. We brought it up on Simulcast Raw episode. Uh, so many, I think someone did a load of write-ins. <laughs> there, there was like, you know, 20 in a row kind of thing. A skullet ref from King of the Death Match. Teddy Long wishes he was this guy's mother. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie McMahon's crimped hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a very good shout. And China from X7 got a lot of uh, votes. She looked great. Like, as, like yeah. the best she's ever going to look yeah, in her entire her life. Yeah, I her as well, yeah. yeah. It was a bit 90s with the full volume, but I thought it looked great. Like. Yeah. Holy shit. Next award. It's our biggest award with over 10,000 votes. It's favorite quote. <laughs> Always our most contested award. So, you know, you're talking... With so many options here, there's about 50 options. You can generally judge how good a year has been by this Golden Knocker Award. All right. Two years ago, the winner was, Doink, brah! Making kids cry, brah! Last year's winner was, uh, Homer Simpson, you fucking animal, you! <laughs> so, uh, okay. V1 as Kane, refusing to take a bump. Oh, <laughs> I'm fucking not. I'll take it on my knees. Uh, Which is great. I love that. Uh, uh. Jay. Devon, get the lawyers. No one's favourite. <laughs> OOC, as a young V1, we'd be loving seeing them tits. It was a much higher pitch version. Of that. <laughs> now, Jay wrote that. I delivered it, and it's about Steve, so that's kind of got the trifecta going. Yeah, there. I like it. That was that was very, uh, yeah. very fourth metal. wall or something. Yeah, yeah. It's like Metal Gear Solid 2. Me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> Jay and OOC alluding to Benoit, the intercontinental champion, Mr. OOC. What? You were so <laughs> angry about that. You were like, yes, I'm clinically insane. <laughs> <laughs> V1. Cretans of the mind. God, I'm so cunty today. Uh, OC on Taz. He's a little puggy fat man now. <laughs> OC. Do you not ask patients, are you ready to enter hell? That Was that a legitimate question? It was. No, <laughs> Cause, like... Because you delivered it, like, so dryly. It, it wasn't planned. Uh, like, none of our jokes are planned. No, like, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. But uh, it was amazing. It was just, as soon as I heard it, just fucking died. Like, uh, it was like the, between that and like Nogger for like best. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Well, yeah. one, a very underrated one is Faggot. The bundle of sticks. Mm-hmm. That or that. Well, you, 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 it was cold. I didn't. So that floored me. Yeah, I had to run that by you, Jay. <laughs> that and Nogger are the only two things yeah. I've ever had to no, run by No, you never by, ran Jay. Nogger by me. You just said you have something. I don't know if you're going to leave it in the show. I'm like, oh. Hang on, okay. do it, just do it. Let's see what happens. Holy shit. I'm glad you did. All right. Uh, OC, as late 90s Vince, voluptuous, succulent, <laughs> tender breasts. Uh, followed by OC, as early 90s Vince, voluptuous, succulent, <laughs> tender breasts. <laughs> V1, uh, coming May 26th, so champions... <laughs> B. <laughs> this is good, very good. Matthew on John Cena threw out his little cum rag. I'm not trying a Geordie accent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matthew on John Stewart, the make a wish Vince Russo. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, Matthew on Sting's bald spot. Ooh, wear a hat. <laughs> that was very funny. Uh, Matthew. Somewhere Shane Douglas stopped eating and and went, Yes! Fuck Ric Flair. That's a good I, one. I love that one. That's when Bailey did the Bailey to Belly. Ah. Uh, which is his finisher. Next one. Jay. <laughs> Jurassic Mark. <laughs> Jay as Vince. Am I out of touch? No. Am I 65 million years old? Yes. <laughs> V1. 
All songs have chicken actions. They do. So you flap your arms up and down like a chicken. You only can't hear it, but that's what we're doing. If you don't know what's meant by chicken dance, I don't know what else to tell you. V1, Dave Penzer doing Aloha Arn. That is weird. No, no, it was like... <laughs> oh, was it? It was, it was some weird mix of tropes. <laughs> oh, see, talking about uh, the Buff Bagwell Mastercard. That's embarrassing. Taking a half naked man out of your wallet. <laughs> uh, Jay as crackhead Elix Skipper. No one got any more damn cage walks. <laughs> Uh, V1 as Zombie Linda. Vince, you get smacked down. <laughs> Joe, you know, I actually, it's, I don't think it's on the list. I actually preferred uh, the Mick sign the fucking papers. <laughs> Do that one, Steve. Do that. Mick, sign the fucking papers. <laughs> uh, OC and V1 on Biker Taker. It's like your granddad coming out to rolling. Bring, bring. <laughs> OC on Foley's terrible third book. I fucking bought that for you and you signed it. <laughs> it was the most indignant. <laughs> I fucking bought that for you and you signed it. Uh, V1, don't treat me like a China. <laughs> ah, second that got in. Yeah. Both ways, yeah. Much like China. Yeah. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Jay as X-Pac doing karate <laughs> that got progressively over the more it came up uh, OC <laughs> I like the bumming uh, Jay OC I'm sure he didn't actually piss on the seat no but he implied it heavily <laughs> It's very funny. I found it hilarious. Like it's it's said like an, as an aside. I think. <laughs> Jay, bye bye bye. Frosted tips, Michael Cole. <laughs> v one state of your CG f- cage fed. Better there was stage. actually a lot of people put that in. Really? Which one? That was. It was there was like a. Was that for Austin? A place, yeah, there was like a place H? card on Raw that said oh, yeah, three yeah, stages yeah. of hell. And mm. it just had a shitty. <laughs> it's um, like one side of a cage. So I was anyway. <laughs> Jay. Promo package. Steph says bitch three times. A young Roman Reigns takes notes. <laughs> That's really good. Jay on Samurai Cop. Kick off. What the fuck is this? <laughs> V1. It's beardy, baldy glasses and a couple of black lads. Beardy, baldy glasses, <laughs> a couple of black lads. I think that's amazing. I'll make a good t-shirt as well. Yes. <laughs> V1. Face in the pillow. Go like the clappers. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, Classic. amazing. Yeah. V1. Does he have, like, a dick camera? <laughs> <laughs> Which one was that? It's at the very start where they're having the, like, van chase scene. And oh, yeah, yeah. Samurai Cop and his partner are both In there. The but the camera is yeah. looking up from where his partner yeah, yeah. is uh, <laughs> sitting. Dick would be. <laughs> uh, V1. I'd sell both of you out in a second. <laughs> Taking out of context, that's... Pretty funny. V1. Uh, hey, cats, who has feet? Rant. Which is an amazing rant. Yeah. It, it, it's probably the angriest you've ever been, I think. I think on this show, it's definitely... The, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, see. I'm always interested in stables. More than two men? I'm always <laughs> interested. <laughs> I might have read that a little more <laughs> like a sexual deviant than it was actually said. <laughs> no, it was Listen. spot on. <laughs> Listen here, Denny. <laughs> oh, see, there's a lingering boyness that you can never really scrub off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, they're it's, both it's excellent. True. It's true. Jay, up your alley and into my stable. <laughs> I think these all came at the start of X7. It was just a lot of boy talk at the start. <laughs> boy talk. V1 about earthquake. Slightly more oniony hair. <laughs> you love the oniony hair. Uh, Jay. I got a lame dick, dick, dick. dick. Uh, third, third appearance. Yeah. yeah. Jay. Zombie Linda. She plays a blinder. <laughs> she 
did play a blind date. <laughs> Jay, look at that face. How could you not vote for her twice, Connecticut? <laughs> very, very high brow, that one, Jay. Very good. <clears throat> Thank you. OOC. Classy. <laughs> a leather jocks leather jocks impression your impression it, it is it is terrifying Steve like, it, it is like I if scare you were, myself if you were <laughs> if you were coming at me even if it wasn't live but you were making the yeah. noise I'd freak it's still <laughs> run yeah uh, next one was by Jay how's your high knee Steve <laughs> What was that in reference to? Your Heineken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Jay, test, he's my top boy, which means he's my bottom boy. <laughs> Jay, he's been granted boy asylum. <laughs> Who was that in reference to? Pretty sure it's Crash Holly. No. <laughs> uh, V1, how are you, Tammy? Oh, no, that's not how we it. Give us an inner city Dublin there. How are you, Tommy? <laughs> Guess what I have in me hands. <laughs> <laughs> we should Skype, Sonny. We should, uh, <laughs> that would make a great episode. Uh, we won again. I should have taken the money. <laughs> God damn it, Cooter Brown. V1. Smoker? Get that water away from me. I don't smoke. <laughs> and V1. Sorry, I was being a bit racist there for a minute. <laughs> a couple of good things came out of the less watches there. So this is a, this is a massive one. So I'd have to say, for Steve, Champions Big. It, it t- stands the test of time. Uh, I think, obviously, I think you're going to kill it this year with... Uh, I'm always interested in stables. More than two men. I'm always interested. Ready to enter hell, I think, has a really good chance of winning. Uh, I think it's between enter hell and maybe zombie Linda. I like the bumming as a... <laughs> it's like, can I have a... I love like... It's been a banner bum. year for you, Steve. Yeah, yeah, you, you killed it, man. Oh, V1 as Kane refusing to take a bump is oh. a big contender. Oh, 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 I'm fucking not... <laughs> There are so fucking many. Uh, I would say Lame Dick had a chance, but it's been nominated too many times. Zombie Linda is such a... It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It is amazing. Uh, and purely for the highbrow, how could you not vote for a twice candidate? Very clever. Very, very clever. Not very OSW, but, you know, it's, that's the kind of thing you'd hear in, like, uh, John Stewart or, or one of them, isn't it? Vince Russo, make a wish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number 10. Promo package. Steph says, bitch, three times. A young Roman Reigns takes note. Number 9. I'm always interested in stables. More than two men. I'm always interested. <laughs> <laughs> How did that not get higher? Number eight, actually, ooh, it's actually quite low. It's, it's one of my favorites. Friends, you got smacked down. Number eight. Oh my mm. god! It's like a championship scramble, and like the champion goes out first. It's like, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. I should have taken the water. <laughs> Number six. I like the bombing. Wow. That is shocking. Holy shit. What? Uh, number one's going to be shit, isn't it? It's going to be Matthew, isn't it? <laughs> I'm done. Shut it down. Number five. Fuck Ric Flair. Okay, that's we're okay, fine. You okay. can't have anything yeah. like that. <laughs> that was his best one by a mile. <laughs> number four. Cena's there with his little cum rag. He got two of the top five. What a waste of votes. <laughs> Dying to How see am I supposed what, to edit what this? Jay leaves in here? <laughs> it's getting slightly more bitter with yeah. everyone. Top three. Number three. Oh, you be loving seeing them tits. Hey, a, a trifecta. Okay, we're all we're all in this together. <laughs> <laughs> like, this better not be me, number two, Jay, or I'm walking. Number two. Oh, 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 oh I'm fucking oh, not. Oh, how is oh this this it, it has to be it has to be where have 
And number one, John Stewart, the Make a Wish. <laughs> <laughs> Clean sweep for Matthew. No, number one is. Do you not go up to patients and say, "Tell me, sir, yes! are you yes! ready to enter hell?" <laughs> Very good. Yes. Very good. Oh, thank God for Whew. that. Oh, oh, the the show is saved. <laughs> The microphone sh- on at the window on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really shocked at how low some of the like what, like zombie Linda, the vo- zombie Linda, uh, amazing. And I like the bumming was it like seven yeah, or six, six or something? Oh, no, holy shit! But yeah. they're all winners except, except for the two Matthew. of them. <laughs> Okay, and now now I can re- I can uh, now I can have another two years without winning. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got three years to win another one. <sighs> Excellent. Our final award, our biggest, most prestigious award, the Lifetime Achievement Award. Oh, I thought you were bringing back best host there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, no, no, the fucking walkout's no. back on. <laughs> <laughs> if you're wondering, where is the host of the year? Right here. Right. <laughs> Lifetime. <laughs> no, it's currently vacant. Or, or was it last year we had it? No, no, two years ago. Oh, then it's currently vacant. But you said, we only did it once, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you said, never again. No, yeah, you're not allowed. So I stand by that decision. All right, so lifetime achievement. Now, are these all boys? Do they have to be boys? They do not. They should have to be boys, no? That eliminates here, anyone who's ever been a champion, though. Everyone in here, actually, no, well, four out of five. Yeah, four out of five here are boys. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> Who will enter the OSW Hall of Fame? First year's winner, very deserving, Wurzel Gummidge, René Goulet. <laughs> but he did beat out Garvin for Hall of Fame, so that was devastating. I, I'm still a bit bitter over that. And last year's winner, the Zodiac, Ed Leslie. How's Virgil not in it? Virgil was nominated the first year, I think. Was he? he? So, fucking Wurzel beat out Virgil and Garvin. That was an ultimate. Yeah. You know, it's never going to be that uh, closely fought again. Yeah, it's like the true Hulkamania era where people like, you know, Jake Roberts and Mr. Perfect and uh, Teddy Biossi don't get the world title. It's because Hogan's there, it's, you know, yeah. it's like, this is it. You didn't mention Virgil or uh, Wurzel or, <laughs> <laughs> or Garvin in that list. <laughs> uh, who Who's nominated and why are they nominated for OSW's biggest award? Kane's Knee. <laughs> <laughs> for its decades of service, the bumping. Ah, that's a... That's that's got a big chance of winning. Kane's knee and Kane's hair have both been nominated. <laughs> Shit. Kane himself hasn't. And damn fucking right. As a as a professional wrestler, he has not <laughs> been nominated. But for two comedy gimmicks, well up there, yeah. mate. Three, the Roydy. Roydy oh, Magoo as well. Oh, well, that Shit. was his body. T- then. 2001. Yeah, 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 so. so everything except him, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a sweet zombie Linda. Oh my god. For her kayfabe enforcing stone faced acting throughout the X7 saga. She did play a blinder. Played a fucking blinder, Jay. Oh, it's the hills! <laughs> <sighs> Holy shit, this is quickly climbing up in difficulty for, as, for, for voting. It's a shark tank. As, yeah. uh, Taz has already won one. Yeah, yeah. Have yeah. we ever had uh, somebody win two golden augers in one night? No. Should no. have been Samurai Cop, but the fans voted wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is turning better, Steve. This is, this is, uh, uh, so, Taz for providing both musical and in ring enjoyment. Samurai Cop's wig. <sighs> not Samurai Cop. <laughs> no, not him. A milestone in hair props. And he already won one tonight? That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, he's a chance. Mm. And finally, Limp Biscuit. For their contributions to wrestling and our X7 episode. I love it. They don't stand a chance. That's like the Jew. That would be the Drew Carey of uh, (laughs) of the Hall of Fame, wouldn't it? (laughs) I'll ask Matthew Curtis. Do you ever watch OSW? I don't watch your show. (laughs) Promote Samurai Cop (laughs) 2. I think Kane's Knee, Zombie Linda, and Taz. Like, I, I, like, they're three awesome gimmicks. We've gotten them over in ways that they could never get over during their actual career. Or on Bajamania episodes. Or on <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Zombie Linda deserves a golden nugger tonight. 
but I think the fans are going to go for Taz. First ever two time in one night winner. So yes, I got to go. Will be Taz, should be Taz, and I hope it's Taz for the the, mm-hmm. the inaugural two time winner. Well, um, I think Taz will win, but my heart says Kane's name. <laughs> I, I, you're <coughs> all over Kane this year, aren't you? It, I like he had a banner year for OSW in terms of shit. Uh, so number three, where's Tails? Oh wow, twenty three point six two percent. Number two. Kane's knee. Oh. 28.48%. Come on. And number one, Lifetime Achievement Award winner entering the Hall of Fame. Welcome, Sweet Zombie <laughs> Linda. Hey. I love it. I love it. She deserved it. What a performance. <laughs> How did she deserve it? What a performance. Have face, you, Steve. <laughs> have you ever seen anyone act so hard to look like they're not acting at all? She played a blind. No, yeah. could anyone else do that job? Be stone faced in front of sixty thousand people. V one. Do you think uh, he could do it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't break cave. Do you know who couldn't do it? Marty Janetti. <laughs> <laughs> he would not be Taking able to pull selfies. <laughs> <laughs> Having a rare old time. Uh, congratulations, Zombie Linda. Thirty four point five five percent. So a third of the votes for a sweet zombie Linda. I'm very, very happy. I'm very happy. It's a shame we Linda. didn't see anyone win two tonight, though. That would have been nice. Yeah. Mm, well, we there was always next year, Steve. So join us in roughly 12 months' time for our <laughs> annual Golden Naga Awards. So thank you for joining us for the third annual Golden Naga Awards. And thank you so much to William Creedon for editing this video for us. I haven't asked him, but hopefully. <laughs> Next up, our Q&A session. So, you can catch all of our episodes. Fuck. Free of charge and an IMAX flavoured for the free full screen on OSWReview.com. So, it's a goodbye from Mosey. See you do. Me one. Take a boot. And myself, Jay Hunter. And remember, a winner is you. <laughs>